Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Recently, we added one playlist based on CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate. I am going to add another class of our CCNA playlist and in this class, we will discuss about the basic of networking and also we will discuss about the IP address management. Because you know that if you really want to understand about how to handle and manage the network devices like edge switches, router, firewall and access point, it's mandatory for us, we must need to know about the concept of IP address. So this is day one, you can say that because uh, in previous class, we discussed about the content, like uh, what are the content that we are going to cover in this particular uh, uh, training or in this particular playlist. So this is day one and uh, in this class, we'll discuss core about the basic of networking and uh, about the IP address management. Let's move ourselves to the screen, whiteboard screen and discuss about the concept. Uh, so let's move. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based training without skip any step. So let me move ourselves and try to understand about the concept of basic of networking and about the IP address management. So we are on page of CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate, training day one. Yes, it's a day one because in previous class we discussed about only about the content, right? So in day one, the agenda of day one class will discuss on these point like what is networking, right? Which is really important for us. You should know about uh, the concept of networking then types of networking which is really important for us we must need to know about how many types of networking or how many method we have to set up our network infrastructure next another important part network devices right and network components So if we talk about the devices, so you know that multiple devices required to set up any kind of network like local area network, wide area network or maybe man metropolitan area network. So you must need to involve at least one device or at least one or two devices required to set up our any kind of network. And also you also need to know about the component because the network devices and network component both are totally different to each other. Component, let me give you some examples related to components like uh, uh, NIC card, LAN cable, RJ45, RJ11, like these all are considered as your components. So in this class, I'm going, going to guide you each and every components that required that help us to establish our local area network. And one more point just wanted to add in this case, once we complete the part of network, uh, devices and component will discuss about IP address and class of IP address, range of IP address and about IPv4 and IPv6. Okay, this is the agenda of today's class or today's session and these all are the points that we are going to cover. Let's start from the very basic what is networking. As per the name suggest, if we talk about uh, what is networking, so you can say that whenever we make a communication between one network device to another network device by using cable, by using wired or wireless, if you are able to transfer data between each other, consider as a networking, right? So for example, this is our desktop. We have our laptop, one network printer is also available in the, in, in, in the infrastructure and another devices are also available like as a server. These devices are connected with one mediator, the mediator called switch. You can consider the mediator consider as a switch and each and every machines are able to transfer data 
from one computer to another computer right so in case of networking we are able to make a communication between multiple devices are the number of devices which are available in the network infrastructure <coughs> sorry if we talk about types of networking so yes multiple and one more point just wanted to add so basically we have a two different method to provide communication between these devices one with the help of wired right or you can say that by using cable and second you can also establish your network infrastructure by using wireless device i'm talking about access point right so n number of machines are available in the infrastructure and you don't want to use any kind of network cable you want to make a communication between these devices with the help of wireless right through the air you want to transfer the data between each other which is considered as a wireless networking and in case of wireless networking you also need to know about how to configure the access point so these all are the topics that we are going to cover in our playlist so this is day one according to the day one you also need to create your on notes like you need to use paper pen and this create a notes for the all session because if you are going to this way then definitely you are able to crack the examination of ccna not only the examination you can also crack the any kind of interview which is based on the ccna routing and switching because in this playlist we are going to cover all the contents according to the blueprint of ccna right so i hope you guys are able to understand about the gap between wired network and wireless network right the access point consider as a wireless network and the wired network you need to add the machines with the help of any cable or uh, we need to add a cable and ethernet so ethernet uh, card required to make a communication between each other with the help of wired network second important part types of network right types of networking or you can also say that types of network multiple yes 1 2 3 the most common network uh, networking types you can say that local area network metropolitan area network and the last one is wide area network three different way we have to establish our network infrastructure you can set up local area network and you can also establish metropolitan and the last one is wide area network so let's talk about the gap between these three different uh, network types because as a ccna engineer as a cisco certified network associate engineer it's our responsibility we should know about the gap between these network types lan local area network as per the name suggests this is your office home shop or any specific area right and in this particular area you added one device called switch or maybe hub right switch or hub required multiple machines are available like this a number of computers are available and these computers are right these computers are connected with same centralized device both all the machines are able to communicate each other but unfortunately all the devices are available in same building or same floor or home or you can say that shop also if you if you are going to set up the network infrastructure within the location or within the building always consider as a local area network all good the important component to set up our lan network you can add it may be switch or hub required we'll discuss more about the difference between switch and hub 
will also discuss about the configuration page how to configure our switches so these all are the topics we are we are going to cover in upcoming session this is local area network and talk about the man let's take an example you establish your one office branch in location of dubai one office you are going to set up in location of india this is the branch india in india location you have already set up the infra of 200 machines and multiple servers these devices and server computers are connected with same switch <coughs> as it is in dubai location multiple machines are available multiple servers are available and all are connected with same switch you are trying to make communication between branch 1 to branch 2 or dubai to india branch with the help of private ip address yes <coughs> in this case you must need to involve one device which is considered as a cisco router yes one cisco router you need to configure in dubai location and one another cisco router you need to configure in location of india so by using the internet service provider we are able to set up we are able to create separate path of data transmission and whenever we transfer our data by using the router then definitely your data will be 100% protected or 100% secured so this is basically metropolitan area network let's talk about the last one about wan so the meaning of wan one laptop one desktop our mobile phone our tablet if these devices are connected with internet yes if the devices are connected with internet if you are using single mobile phone and you are able to access the internet connection it means that you are the part of wide area network the device which are connected the devices which are connected with any internet connection it means that you are the part of wide area network and in case of wide area network you can access your data from worldwide you can access your uh, machine from worldwide so this is all about the types of types of networking and types of uh, what is networking and types of networking another important part which is really helpful to understand about the network infrastructure network devices and the second one is network components multiple options are available like as a switch consider as a network device hub is also network device cisco router access point and firewall right checkpoint bridge <coughs> and modem currently which is involved with wifi connection and gateway these all are the consider as a devices and what about the components this is all about the component and devices 
so this is all about this class we'll guide we'll connect in next session discuss more about the ccna thank you guys take care and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel bye bye